Hello friends, welcome to this 11th video on group theory. This video will talk about order of a group and order of an element in a group. Come on, we will move on. What we mean by an order of a group? So if you have a group G with a binary operation star defined on it and this G is going to be a non-empty set which is going to be finite in nature that is it has only finite number of elements the G has a collection of finite number of elements then the order of the group is nothing but the cardinality of your non-empty set G. So if I have a G to be defined as 1 minus 1 I minus I then the order of the group G will be the number of elements or the cardinality of G which is going to be equal to 4. So if I have a group G which is going to be defined as S3 the symmetric group of permutation of three elements. So what are going to be the S? S is going to be containing only three elements but S3 the permutation on these three elements will contain n factorial inputs or n factorial uh, quantity as its uh, elements. So there will be how many elements over here? 3 factorial which is going to be 6 elements will be present in the combination. That is we name it as P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and P6. So this will be my different arrangement of the three elements. So my order of G when you have the G to be defined as the symmetry group of three elements then order of G will be equal to 6. So this is about the order of the group. Now moving on what do we mean by order of an element so if we have a group G with a binary operation star and then if E is going to be the identity element of your group G then we say that the least positive integer M in such a way that a to the power of m gives me the identity element. So the least positive integer m such that a power m gives me the identity element. Then this m is called as the order of the element. So when I have g which is going to be 1 minus 1 i minus i i know the identity element for this group is going to be equal to 1 now what is going to be order of the element 1 1 rise to the power of what will give me 1 1 power 1 is 1 so order of 1 is 1 what will be order of minus 1 minus 1 rise to the power of what will give me 1 minus 1 the whole square will give me 1 so order of minus 1 will be equal to 2 so what will be order of i i how many times when you rise will give me the value to be equal to 1 i know that i square is going to be minus 1 so i need i to the power of 4 to have minus 1 into minus 1 to get as 1 so the order of the element i will be equal to 4. So this i when I rise 4 times then I will be getting the value of 1. Now what will be order of minus i? So minus i how many times if I rise will I be getting 1? What will be minus i into minus i? So this is going to be minus of i square. What is i square? i square is going to be minus 1. So it is minus of minus of minus will become um, minus of minus will become plus 
and i into i will give me i square so this i square is going to be minus 1 but what i need is 1 so what will i do let me try multiplying by minus i minus i and one more minus i so what will happen now this will give me minus 1 into minus i so this will give me minus of minus so it will become plus times of i so now i need the value to be equal to uh, 1 but have i got this as 1 no i still have it to be equal to i so i cube is going to be still i so what i do i do one more times i to the power of 4 okay so when i do i to the power of 4 what we will be having we will be having minus i the whole to the power of 4 which is nothing but already we have i for my i cube so this is going to be multiplied by minus i so this will give me minus of i square and this is going to be i minus of i square is going to be minus 1 so now this turns out to be plus 1 so what do i say about order of the element minus i when i rise it to the power of 4 i get the answer as 1 so order of minus i is going to be 4 so in this way i can define order of the elements so element is going to be least positive integer why is the word least given over here i know that i square is going to be minus 1 i power 4 will give me 1 again i power 8 will also give me 1 i power 12 will also give me 1 but which is going to be the least of the element which can give me 1 so the least element is going to be 4 so what we are interested is going to be the least element okay now when it comes to the permutation of the elements say suppose i am having alpha to be equal to one of the elements in the permutation of 4 1 2 3 4 with 3 4 2 1 so this is going to be arrangement of four element what will be the arrangement of four element what will be order of s4 group how many elements will be there in s4 s4 is the arrangement of four elements one two three and four so how many elements n equal to four so n factorial will be equal to four factorial so you will be having one into two into three into four twelve twelve twos are 24 elements so order of your s4 will be equal to 24 but how about the order of this element in particularly called as alpha out of 24 elements i have this to be one element what is going to be the identity mapping of the uh, arrangement of element it is going to be 1 2 3 4 arranged with the same 1 2 3 4 this is going to be my identity element e so alpha on rising to how many our power times gives me this 1 2 3 4 is what i need to check so let me do alpha square so 1 2 3 four, 1 2 3 4 mapped with 3 4 2 1 i need two copies so 1 2 3 4 3 4 2 1 so what will be the answer again the answer will be the mapping to 1 2 3 4 so now 1 2 3 3 to 2 2 goes to 4 4 goes to 1 3 goes to 2 2 goes to 4 4 goes to 1 1 goes to 3 so do i get the value of e no so let me do one more time so i will compute alpha cube alpha cube is nothing but alpha square times of alpha what is alpha square one two three four now only we computed alpha square two one four three now again do a copy of alpha what is a copy of alpha three four two one so let me check if this is going to give me the identity mapping okay now what is this permutation one two 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 four two one 1 2 3 3 goes to 4 4 goes to 1 4 goes to 3 3 goes to 2 is this identity mapping no so what do i do i do one more copy so let me take alpha 4 so alpha 4 will be alpha cube time 1 2 3 4 4 3 1 2 one more copy of alpha let me take 3 4 2 1 so let me check if this is going to give me identity mapping how to go about it 1 is mapped with 4, 4 is mapped with 1, 2 to 3 and 3 with 2, 
3 with 1, 1 with 3, 4 with 2, 2 with 4. So now I see 1 is mapped to 1, 2 is to 3 is to 3 and 4 is to 4. So I get the identity element. At which power I get the identity element at alpha equal to 4. So what is the order of the element alpha? The order of the element alpha will be equal to 4. Okay, so you can just try in such a way that on how many copies of the same binary uh, operation you get the value of e then that least positive integer will be called as the order of the element. I hope this concept is clear. Happy learning. Keep learning.